Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's, even, it's been even longer since I've been here. Um, I'm gonna try to pull off a guild war where I don't take uh, two thousand years to, to get it down. Um, yeah. So we're I don't know what's going on here. Uh, yeah. So I switched guilds since the last time, and I figured, hey, let's let's kind of do some guild war with this new guild and, and see uh, see where we are and whatnot. And I've also gotten a few new units to to play around with and and uh, and things like that. So let's kind of see what we can get out of here. So for those of you who want to see what my current defense is. Um, it's this, so basically the same generic, uh, Landy, um, FCC, you know, t Surin combo that, uh, is running around rampant everywhere. Um, I guess I hear a lot that you basically just beat this with, um, what's her name? ML Cigarette, but, um, as you can see, I have no idea because I haven't been attacked in a long time. I think this was different at the time, so we'll see what I got here. Yeah, this was a different team at the time. Um, and even Operator, see, Operator Sigrid lost to this team, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there or, you know, whatever. Um, but hopefully that does pretty decent. Uh, and then we lost to this, so again, this is a different team. So I haven't been attacked, uh, like, two, several Guild Wars, and then I, haven't, I still haven't been attacked today, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, this 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 function here is, is, is pretty cool. Like, not, not only, okay, so not only is it... Like here it shows you your attacks and what you did and all that stuff. But what's also interesting is um, like if someone has the same team as you, you can just look at theirs, right? Like what's cool is that you're not just you don't just have to worry about looking at um, uh, your own victories or whatever, right? Like you can look at other people. So you can see here this person lost, so what did they lose to? They have the same team as I do. So they just lost to a ML Ken uh, fire team because uh, she can S3, but she's going to be focusing her S1s on him, and he's just going to counter her and kill her. Uh, she's going to be hitting him, and she's just going to die because she can't take that. Uh, and then she's obviously... Um, Landy's not going to do enough damage to fire units, and all she's doing is giving survivability, sort of ability, right? So that's something interesting to consider. But yeah, so like if you if you see someone else who has your team, you can kind of see what they might lose to. Uh, a lot of times, you know, sometimes they'll lose to just gear and stuff like that, uh, like I'm always saying. But uh, you know, th there's some good examples. And then on top of that, so not only is it good for um, seeing your defense and then seeing what other people who are running your defense are, are kind of running into, it's also interesting to see here, right? So you get to see, you know, you're attacking here, like oh, well, who had success, right? So it's like oh, this guy lost or whatever, and but all these guys all won, right? So like you know, you don't want to end up being like this guy who brought in, you know, these units, right? You can see what didn't work and go, okay, let's not, let's not do that. And then you can kind of see what did work, right? So he just took in a stun comp with, uh, with him for extra damage. Um, and then down here, he just killed, uh, theoretically he just killed Riolu with, uh, with her, with Melissa. Is that, that's Melissa? I have no idea. I can't remember anymore. Uh, killed him with her, killed him with her. And then the rest of these two just kind of did their own thing against, uh, the other ones and hopefully theoretically what happened but that you can always kind of see what, what a good example of like oh this team probably wins against them and if you look at it and you say oh well this team looks guaranteed to win against them then you can just try it out yourself and then you know have a higher chance if you just can't think of any ideas um so yeah uh yeah so let's just get in there let's see what i can do against these teams um this first team i think i'm just going to take you where is uh, I need? So we're just gonna take the generic um, SSB Crow into this, and we need another. I think we could have another um, another unit now. Since they're both water, let's take this. Well. I guess we'll t yeah we'll take this. Uh, that way, uh, FCC will focus him and um, Ravi will focus him because she's not gonna hit the the waters. Uh, and then you know her she'll 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 focus them, but that'll be fine. Uh, down here. Oh, actually, I kind of want to take um, G Perg down here, but that's not a very good idea anyway. Hmm. Well, well, we'll take something simple. We'll take uh, we'll take something easy, I guess. We'll take um, uh, Lilius. We'll take you. 
Uh, we'll take uh, my my other team. We'll take my bottom team because it seems seems pretty. Well, okay. So I can take her. Actually, I kind of want to take. Uh, where is he? Let's take. Where's my lights? Light units. We'll take you. Not you. You. And then we'll take uh, Arbiter. All right, that seems pretty all right, right? I think. Hopefully. All right, so the idea is uh, Cerise is going to go first, and then the list is going to cleanse. I'm going to put uh, immunity. Um, unless, you know, she, she probably goes after, but yeah, that's fine. Um, so she'll, uh, she'll put her thing up. She'll try to do what her thing, and then he'll focus him, and hopefully he'll die by the time we... Uh, we get that sword. So let's just get in there. Um, not uh, dally too much there. Okay. So the first thing to come out is going to be this, of course. So that's fine. Okay. So we get to do our defense buff up faster. Uh, this is kind of good because let's let's push you back. It's good that we got to go before her and put the defense up because it means that um, hopefully she won't get too uh, too many. Um. The thing is, because if she if she if she didn't have full stacks, okay, never mind. So she's gonna the problem the problem the thing is you want her to the first move she does you want it to be the S three full stacks, uh, so that when she cycles around again to her turn. Um, it'll it'll be it'll be not full stacks right now because right now when it comes back to be her turn, it doesn't matter how many buffs or debuffs we have, uh, she's gonna have max and she's gonna reset the S three. So we're gonna take two S threes. The idea is to make sure she gets max stacks the first time, and then the second time she doesn't have max stacks and she's only gonna S one. So you only take an S three into an S one, but that's fine. Okay, we stunned her anyway, and we got the counter. Cool. Uh, so we're just going to focus her down. Ooh, this is bad. We're going to get uh, S3 right now by uh, Ravi, which is pretty annoying. Okay, so hopefully she misses. And she missed on SSB, which is the important one. Um, she's probably. Hopefully she doesn't have enough effectiveness to stun. Yeah, she stunned. Uh, what's his name? That's fine. Okay, so we're going to hit you. Come on. Nope. It's all right. She's just going to hit. She's just going to hit. What's his name anyway? Oh, no. She's going to hit three. Um, yeah, so uh, as you can see, he's taking quite a bit of damage, so that's not good. Uh, let's hit you. Oh, very good. Um, uh, so she's gonna kill him, which is kind of sad. Um, but it is what it is. So let's. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just hit you since she's defense broken. Let's not waste it. Uh, we actually might lose this, so that kind of sucks. Uh, of course, you got the counter. And she got the uh, crit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's it for us there. Uh, the stun on the crowd was what kind of... Not necessarily costed us. I mean, we still might have lost anyway. But I, wouldn't, I wasn't able to S3 to kill at least one of them. Which I couldn't have s 3 the landy, which is one of the bigger problems there. Uh, was the landy, but regardless, it's fine. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, so fortunately, her first turn is kind of a waste because she has to put this up. Um, but that's all right. Uh, let's cleanse all this crap, and then we'll probably I think after so, let's see this will hit her for some damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now we can just uh, wipe out the um, wipe out the. Uh, 
the lady down there. And he's about to die as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's just hit you. He's like on the verge of death, so like we'll we'll poke through this. It'll be fine. There we go. And she's dead. And he's dead. Uh, she's obviously people are building their um their Cerise's tankier these days. So there's that. Come on, bring Arby. There we go. Well, at least we knocked the tower over. Uh, that was kind of stupid on my part, that first team. Um, in all honesty, I think the first team should have just been like uh, Ravi and like um, G Perg and something else. That probably would have been better. Um, but that was kind of dumb, so it is what it is. Um, we'll see. Someone's attacking here, and they're still attacking this tower. I don't know what they're doing. Probably They're probably uh, stalling for the draw. And I wanted to attack this tower, but I guess uh, it's not happening. Uh, 200. I think regardless whether or not they, uh, they win or not, uh, we'll be fine. Um, I'm still like, I want to check to see if I'm, oh, there's someone's attacking me and I lost. I can't believe this. Okay, so now we can see. So someone just destroyed me. Let's see what they took. So they took that same team from last time that we saw where, um, basically you funnel everyone into ML Ken and, um, since you have two fires, like I can't do much against that. Uh, and then here, apparently they could out-damage me. Considering I was doing too many uh, dual attacks with Arby, um, she's probably, you know, obviously one of the better choices for that. And then just have him suck up all the damage and probably S3 somebody. And then um, against this team, they're not tanky enough that, like, for one, you've got a, a Crow S3 to just murder someone, and then um, she's doing just enough damage anyway. But this is also good because then if I see this comp, I know what to take into it or whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good comp to have taken uh, against mine. Um, I think regardless if he wins or loses, I think um, we'll do fine here. Actually, let's go see. Let's take a look and see what uh, other people have taken into this. So we've got these three up here. Uh, I think I'm going to take Crow with uh, Arbiter and Vildred into this one just to get enough damage to kill them. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Um, and I'll probably have to bring someone else into this. But uh, this one down here... Looks kind of interesting. Um, so let's bring you up here, you here, and then we'll bring. The thing is, you just want a bunch of AOE so you can take her out of her like stealth, and then just like when she's out of stealth, you can just kill her. Like she's not that hard. Uh, I'm actually going to bring. This is probably a stupid idea, but I'm just going to bring uh, Tempest Surin into this, uh, just for the fun of it. I don't actually want to lose her this early on, but, you know, whatever. Um, let's bring you... Uh, well... Let's, let's actually bring some tanks. So let's we'll bring you... She should be enough damage to kill every single one of these units, so we'll be fine there. Um... There's not a bunch of debuffs. There's no debuffs here. So we can just bring some kind of healer. Or something. Or, yeah, we'll bring you. And we'll bring... Uh, where is... Yeah, we'll bring... What's her name? Um, where's CC? Um, I kind of like this. Yeah, I think I like this. Um, we ideally you want a cleanser, but I don't have anyone. I guess I'll have to bring. Um, yeah, I guess I'll bring what's her name, Lilius. Okay, so this should be fun, right? Theoretically. Yeah, I think we'll have enough damage. We'll, we'll just let's just get in there. Yeah, let's just go. Hopefully, someone else didn't just jump in here, uh, <laughs> thinking the same thing I did. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Okay, so this is a decently fast Rylet, which leads me to believe he's not on life steal. Uh, he's also got very low uh, HP. Okay, 
Okay, so we barely had enough to get over to get over that um to get over that barrier there. Uh, let's hit everybody with this. I think Arby's gonna die here. No, he won't. I think uh, Crow's gonna die, which is kind of sad. Ooh, he didn't die, and he's gonna die now. That's pretty annoying. Um, let's get out of here. Uh, what, what was I supposed to do there? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, so everybody would have just died off of that, and then Arby would have come back and not done anything. <laughs> um, that's fine. Okay, so seeing as how poorly that first one went, I, th I don't think this one's going to go much better, but we'll see. Oh wow, I can't believe Lilius resisted that. I don't know what's going on with that. If that villager dodges... There we go, cool. Uh, because we get to do this. Uh, if he dies off of this, that'd be pretty funny. Let's see if uh, we can manage to kill him with an S3. No, I have done that before. Uh, it just depends on the it depends on the RB, um, but it's just really funny when you just kill him off an S three. Hopefully this kills uh, what's her name up there, and she's dead. Okay, so two birds, one stone, and then we also get rid of his um, his revival S three because we have the skill null. Uh, from here, <laughs> we really really have to kill this guy, and she missed. So, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Oof. Ugh, that's disgusting. Uh, so theoretically, she should be able to kill him now, right? Let's, let's see if we can uh, just murder him. Come on. Okay, she missed. And she missed again. Which is fantastic. Um, I mean, just what else are you going to expect, honestly? You gonna miss? Yep, you're gonna miss, but doesn't matter. Hundred percent. Uh, it's weird. I, like I don't know whose idea was it to give him the passive where like he has one million uh, effectiveness on his S three, and then uh, you know he also gets like double the bonus from the miss chance, which is pretty crazy. I don't know. I don't know who who designed that, but. Uh, they they gotta get someone better for that honestly, and she's dead, which is fine. Let's see. It's actually kind of funny for those of you who who run into a lot of uh, for those of you who run into a lot of um, counter Arby's. Um, so the chance, so if you want to, if you want to find out what the chances of, of at the same time missing from Moonlight Dreamblade, right? Cause there's a 20% chance you'll miss him because he's got the Dreamblade, right? Um, I've only got 60, which means the other person's still in there, which makes me wonder what he's doing, what he or she is doing. This person has been in here, like, they've been in here since I went in there. They were here, actually, they were here a while ago before I got in here. Um, so I don't know what you're doing, buddy, but you better, you better, you better knock this tower over because, gosh damn. Um, let's see. This guy has also been in here since I, since I started, so I don't know, you know, I don't know what people are doing. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, none of these are... It's looking like we're probably going to lose this Guild War anyway, so that's not too bad. Um, and something changed there. Okay, so we haven't knocked down like any towers, so this is kind of sad. I guess we'll hit this one. On 40. Let's hit, let's hit one and, and give it uh, for someone to knock over. Let's try this one again. Let's uh, see if we can redeem ourselves here with... Uh, let's see... We'll take, we'll take Ravi, see if my Ravi's better than his. Since we're just kind of suiciding in here, this is fine. 
Um, I'm taking Alencia in here, though, because I want the defense buff. It's pretty good. So we're taking that up there. We're just going to bruiser it and kill everybody, hopefully. Um, down here, we're taking you, you, and you. Um, yeah, it looks like fun. Let's, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, I think I'm going to lose that bottom one, actually. I just realized as I pressed enter. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting it's in English. I gotta. I haven't changed it to Japanese, which is what I usually uh, play it on. So this should theoretically kill. It didn't kill Arby. That's kind of weird. Oh, don't stun her, please. Thank you. Uh, let's get rid of all these buffs. Alexia's actually pretty good against uh, Landy because, for one, you get the defense buff, which, again, you kind of don't want buffs, right? Because Landy will uh, take advantage of that. Um, but. And. Oh, I didn't get the stun, but I got the provoke. That's funny. Okay, so then I get to S3 again. Um, because, you know, you don't want to feed her buffs per se, but out of all the buffs, the defense buff is going to be the better buff to, to take into her, even though she does get the pen. Um, and there's that. Defense break, yep, cool. Oh my gosh, all that RNG we lost last time. <laughs> we got it back here. Uh, and then they're dead. Um... But, like, out of all the buffs you're going to take into her, defense buff is one of the better ones, as well as not having to worry about, like, she's usually paired with, um, what's her name? With the MLCC for the barrier, and you can strip the barrier and the and the the stealth all in one swoop with Alencia, which, you know, there you go. That's uh, an interesting thing to take in with you guys. Uh, I really do think Alencia is a pretty good counter, so I'm going to I'm gonna bring her into more... Uh, more teams like that and see where it gets me um, Lilius is also pretty good because she can lock her down and just like help kill her because she's fire uh, but yeah okay so we're going to the idea is just to do enough damage to kill her so let's do this So she's going to S3. And give us another barrier. Now I'm going to S3. Hopefully we can kill her. Wow, she's actually, yeah, she took, they, they have that uh, EE that gives her uh, more. Okay, so that didn't kill anybody, which is good. Uh, now we can, at this point, do this. And she's got the barrier, so she's fine. There's just one. Ah, that's bad. Ah, it's okay. This is the last one anyway. Um, that's exactly what I didn't want. I didn't want her to team up with her because she would like Lilius die. Uh, uh, CC dying isn't so bad, but um, dying before that was not ideal. Uh, so, uh, what's her name is going to die? Yeah, she's dead. That's fine. Um, I think she should be relatively easy to kill now. Because she can't lifesteal off of me enough. And her stealth doesn't do anything. Yeah, I can just hit her. Yeah, okay. She gets a CR boost, but that's fine. Um, I'm faster than her anyway. And I get to do this. Uh, the S1 probably would have done as much damage as this is going to do, but that's fine. Uh, why you just kill when you can overkill, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so there you go, that's that. Uh, hopefully someone sees that and attacks this tower and uh, we knock it over. Uh, it was this one, right? Yeah, so when you full success, it gets down to 80. 
Because oh yeah, so it's two hundred points. I really, I really despise this point system because it's like you win and that's you get one twenty and that leaves it down to uh, eighty points. I don't know. I guess I guess that's the kind of the point, right? Because if you go in and, and tie against it, you only do sixty, the same the way it is here. So that means that uh, it just means that whenever someone misses like an attack, whenever you you defense draw like this. It means that you that like this individual tower basically won out already because now it takes two more people to attack. Where if two people had been successful, it's only two, and then we move on, right? Uh, but yeah, I guess that's kind of the point of it. I guess is is like you want to at least get a defense draw um, <laughs> for that sake. Uh, where am I? Those guys are still attacking. I don't know. They're just sitting there. So I lost twice back to back. So this is the other person who was attacking me right now. Uh, did they both do the same thing? <laughs> yeah, they both did the same thing. They all so this is a, so for those of you who do have ML can, I don't. So I, you know, this isn't a thing. I just usually bring in um, my team against this, which I, we didn't see any of those, which is why I didn't bring it in there. But my team against this is usually Lilius, um, Ravi, and uh, G Perg, right? Uh, that's my three, and usually that's because uh, so if Ravi, if you're fighting against, if you're fighting against them, uh, she's gonna hit the G Perg because G Perg is light. She's just going to hit whoever's the lowest, so you kind of have to just whatever with her. Who cares? It doesn't really matter that that much. Um, and then lastly, she is not going to hit the Ravi or the Lilia. She's going to focus the G-Perg uh, with her S1. And her S3 isn't going to do very much damage to the two fire units, right? So you're, you're basically fine. And then S and then you basically S-cycle S3s with Ravi and then until they all just die. Um, you basically want to focus her down with Lilius and get her dead. You can kind of leave her, but I really wouldn't risk it because I mean, even, even like if she does happen to crit and and not miss, you're still like there's still a good chance of like she'll do a lot of damage. So you just don't want to take any chances with her. Uh, her, she's pretty easy, especially because uh, Lilius dual attacks into her. Uh, so you basically just you basically, you just kill her, and then lastly, I mean, just her. So um, that's for one of you. You know, requires less premium stuff, right? So you can use uh, instead of using Ken, you can use Ravi. I mean, you could probably use Ravi. In this team here, like this, whatever, whatever, they're, whatever they're doing, you could probably throw Ravi in here, and you'll be equally as fine. Um, down here, however, uh, yeah. So basically, this team right here is the same thing that attacked me here, down here. So what it's looking like is this Arbiter team with Lilius is not ideal. There's too much dual attacks. Uh, there's too many dual attacks, and we're not getting anywhere. So I'm about to refigure out what's going on down here. Um, yeah, but that's about it. Uh, hopefully, uh, I haven't been making a lot of videos on, on this game just because there hasn't been a whole lot to be making videos on, and hopefully my software didn't just crash. Okay. Uh, th there's not a whole lot of videos to be making on, um, other than just summoning, because, like I said, I mean, Guild War has been kind of boring lately, and, uh, uh, but I switched, I switched guilds, so hopefully we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um... And there's not a whole lot to summon for. I mean, I, I haven't even like like I'm, I, I care so little about uh, Kana that I haven't even uh, taken the time to come over here and farm all the stuff you need for her. Uh, well, actually, I've been farming that, so I guess I just give her these. Um, but like I have to like, it would have been nice, right, if the side story had given us these to fight against instead of having to go to some stupid like. Uh, you know, main story mission and farm some suboptimal place that doesn't give you any, like... Like, I can guarantee you that where you fight these guys is you're not going to get any good catalysts, anything you need out of it. And it's only to fight this, so you're just wasting stamina. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That, that's kind of the way I see it, and that's why I'm kind of salty about it, is that this wasn't in her side story, and, like, you'd think it'd be in her side story, so you just get her, but... Uh, they can't be that generous, can they? Um, and this is, this is fine. I mean, that's whatever. Who cares? Um, I guess the idea is you're... The, wherever you farm this you could probably gain this and there you go i mean decently at the same time um but i mean you're just doing this to get this right again you have to kind of double dip with your with your resources as much as possible um and not to mention like i said she's just not that like she's not good enough for me to really care too much about it she's just here to like help you with an expedition and i'm not really hurting for that expedition anyway so it's not like i really care um, she could be pretty good in PvP. I'm not gonna say she isn't, but um, certainly it's not someone I, I care too much about. Uh, what else? Uh, the new collab theoretically is coming at some point. 
um, which is cool, I guess. I mean, I, hopefully it's something worth pulling for. Uh, I have, let's go take a look at the resources here, the old uh, resource manager. So I've just been saving them. Uh, I spent a few of them on the, again, for those of you who saw, I spent a few of them on the um, the triple limited banner, but uh, you know, other than that, I haven't used very much more and I haven't really saved much more. I think uh, for those of you who saw that video, I probably ended with like six or 700, so I haven't gotten that, that I haven't gotten that much more. Um, but yeah, I mean, probably, hopefully I can save up like three pities and then just take all three of the heroes that are coming up next um, or at least the ones that are worth it anyway. Uh, and lastly, it's also kind of boring because I didn't get, for one, I didn't get the ML I wanted uh, when she was available. And also, I'm probably not going to pull for her just because she's not, I don't know. I, I think like what would have made me pull for her undoubtedly would have been if she had the, uh, if this was AoE. Like if this was AoE, that'd be 100%. And it's going to be funny because I'm not going to pull for her, right? Because it's not AOE. And somewhere she's probably going to get buffed to the point where <laughs> it is AOE. And all of us who didn't pull for her are going to be salty as hell. Um, the same way we, uh, a lot of people who were kind of salty, they didn't get, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know what his name is. Uh, what's it called, guy? Um... A Tywin, but uh, I mean, he was very strong as it was, and they just kind of slightly buffed him. Turning this into AOE is not just a slight buff; it's like a it's a serious buff because um, a, a stun into a thirty percent combat de uh, decrease, uh, and with the strip before the b before all this, so basically this hits um, Rylet as well. Um, like all that stuff is just like, this is way too much to make this AOE is, is what would have made her broken. And, um, yeah, so that's that, uh, I would just be waiting to see what comes after her. If a Tywin comes after her, I don't know. I might pull for a Tywin, but I'm more, I'm more resigning myself to using, cause I have, let's see, uh, this is AOE, but this is just Dizzy's like S2. The only thing that's valuable mainly is this, which I kind of want to pull for her because this looks so, this is so ridiculous as it is now. Um, yeah, no focus, and then uh, that's not even counting like the future MLs that are gonna get, or not the future MLs, but just any unit in general that's going to come out in the future that's going to be using focus. And then you know, there's fighting spirit is on the other side of that. Um, probably a fighting spirit one we'll get eventually, but uh, yeah, so this is kind of like if you're gonna get her, it's gonna be because of this, right? I mean, who cares about a strip into a stun? I mean, you've got flurry who can just kill a person or. Uh, Riolu who can just kill a person or you know, whatever right there's a lot of other units that like isn't you know the strip into a stun isn't that really useful um, and if you want this I mean you just use Dizzy I mean Dizzy does everything she does but better I mean who cares if there's who cares if like why stun them when you can like cripple an entire team by just putting the three def debuffs that Dizzy puts on them right like they may as well be stunned because for those two turns that those debuffs are up they're not doing anything right so that's kind of something to consider anyway the point being that uh she's a little underwhelming uh in terms of like her 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 kit uh but her s2 is why you want her uh because for one you want her because current the current focus mechanics anybody who uses that uh you kind of don't like dealing with it and you want to shut it down as well as you you're investing into a future uh whatever future unit comes out because i think because she's here now we're going to have a lot of very strong focus based units uh because now that there's a check, it means we can sort of start like making them stronger because the check is already existent, right? Where before, I mean, before we had you know SSB, which is one of the, arguably one of the strongest units ever made in this game, um, and that was before we had a check to focus, right? And now there is a check to focus. Like you can only imagine what stronger units we'll see. Uh, but anyway, my point being that uh, I didn't really, you know, she's not that interesting to me, and I really don't care too much about uh, countering a lot of focus stuff anyway that much, um, and again like i said there's a future stuff but my way of thinking is just kind of like well by the time she becomes necessary in terms of like how powerful focus mechanics do evolve into for two for one we're probably going to have a, a few other like there'll be other stuff kind of dealing with that as well uh and for two kind of the way um like revive mechanics were kind of countered over time and and we got well we haven't gotten any better revive mechanics since then so you know take that as you will right um so that that's kind of, I mean that's kind of a reason not to pull is that like 
we had revive mechanics. We got the counter, and then revive mechanics did not evolve in any way, shape, or form. I mean, we're still like we still got season one revives, right? No, no one's changed. Nothing's changed. We're still the same, and all we've gotten is more and more and more counters, which you know it is what it is. But whatever. But that's kind of something to consider about uh, Solitaria is that you could pull for her now and like expect they're going to be stronger focus mechanics, but they'll probably just be average focus mechanics to come. You know. Um, but yeah. Probably just gonna save to see who comes after her. Um, in terms of like actual new ones, um, I don't, I don't, we don't, we don't know yet. We'll have to, we'll have to wait a few weeks, but um, we'll see, we'll see who comes after her in terms of because it's gonna be a re, a redo. Someone, someone is gonna have a, a someone's gonna be here for the second time. I'm not sure who though. I feel like it's a Taiwan just because I want it to be a Taiwan, which I'm not sure if I, I should pull for him or just like I said, if we can go here. Um, I've actually pulled three dupes so far, so I have 30 coins. So I feel like I should just wait till a Taiwan comes out in here and I just pull them with these coins, or just wait till I actually just get them. Um, but that's that. Uh, Dark Harvest is there, and, uh, <laughs> uh, for those of you who want easy, uh, Guild War wins, there he is. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've kind of dragged this out longer than it should have been anyway by this point. Um, didn't mean for it to turn into a Solitario review. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, hopefully you guys have, you know, learned a thing or two from, from this. Uh, if anything, I think for me, the biggest thing is um, probably start taking Alencia into uh, Shielded. Like, you could take in ML Cigarette, right, against that, but, um, I mean, not everyone has an ML Cigarette. A Cigarette, a Cigarette. Not everybody has one, and uh, for two... Uh, Alencia is pretty good against that just because you can wipe off every buff she has and then just proceed to just destroy her with whatever you have. Um, Alencia herself is pretty good at taking out the uh, taking her out and uh, giving you a lot of survivability with the defense buff. So you can you can take multiple hits, right? Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Um, what else? Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, good luck out there. And uh, like I said, in the uh, Fire Emblem one, uh, be a look, be on the lookout if you like Darkest Dungeon. I'll probably have some. I might have some playthrough stuff on there on the channel or a live stream or something like that. I don't think I'm. My channel's not big enough for do a live to do a live stream. I don't think anybody's gonna watch that. But um, definitely maybe some some playthrough videos and and just kind of going over. I want to do a uh, Stygian run. Um, granted, that's. I mean, for me, it's kind of a big deal because I've only ever played on on regular, but. Um, yeah, in, in the the real uh, what's it called the real uh, <laughs> the real darkest dungeon community. That's like the intro. <laughs> like, like pulling off a Stygian run is like you're done with the tutorial. Congratulations! Now let's uh, let's do some real runs, right? Um, but yeah, so that that's something to consider. But anyway, yeah, like I said, that's that's it for now.